Hello, welcome to lesson two. We're going to use sum. Uh, we're going to add the values uh, of one cell to the values of another cell, and then later we're going to multiply the values of cells together. Uh, so if you look at the screenshot that I've got of your Excel spreadsheet, you can see we've got the we've got five columns, and we're going to put the values into the last three columns, which is winning costs uh, for one item, number of items in your park, and winning costs for the entire the entire park. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all the values that I've already put in here uh, and then I'm going to add, use category 1 ride and I'm going to add these two together, this 40 and 50. So I'm going to type in equals sum, open bracket, click on the first cell I want to, multi or I want to add, click on the second cell I want to add, close bracket, enter, and then I'm going to use fill handle to drag it all down so the computer can repeat it all for me. I don't have to do it over and over again. Then I'm going to use my lesson one work and I'm going to count up how many category one rides, category two rides, bins, toilets, trees, etc., etc. And I have to multiply these together to get uh, a full a full value. So I'm going to multiply these by using the word product, which is another word for multiply, uh, equals product open bracket. Then I'm going to click on the first cell that I want to multiply. So we take a look at the screenshot. Uh, I've got equals product open bracket E4 times D4. Now E4 and D4, I need to multiply these to get the my running costs for my park. Then I'm going to use fill handle again and drag it all down. I use the bottom right hand corner of the, ce of the cell and you'll see that my cursor changes into a dark cross and I'm going to drag it down. Now then, the empty cell at the bottom, you just see me highlight the entire hi in the entire column there. I'm going to if you look at the top of that screenshot, you can see that my mouse is hovered over a button called Auto Sum. It looks like a funny E. Now, providing that I have highlighted the entire column, and when I click on E, Auto Sum, it will automatically add everything in that column up for me. Thank you, and that's lesson two.